This episode is brought to you by Comixology, an Amazon partner and the leading online platform for digital comic books. So for cheap digital comic books, check out Comixology in the link below. What is up guys and welcome to another episode of the Skid Reviews and today we're going to be doing a review of the new Tomb Raider movie. Now comic books and video games have been two pop culture mediums which seemingly go together very well. But when it comes to movie adaptations from these two uh, genres, you know, one has overtaken the other in a massive way. Now comic book movies and movie adaptations have far exceeded their video game counterparts. However, when it comes to video game movies, now that's a different story. For years we have wanted good video game movies and we have been disappointed over and over again. Remember 2016 when movie adaptations of video games were supposed to take off? Legitimate filmmakers with you know, credentials with really good credentials uh, took over such AAA big franchises like uh, the Assassin's Creed franchise and the Warcraft franchise. Assassin's Creed was a complete shit show. Even you know the filmmakers admitted that it was really crap. And when it comes to Warcraft, uh, there was so much expectation. It wasn't a bad movie by any 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 shot, but it wasn't it wasn't the kind of Warcraft movie that we wanted. So we're still waiting for that movie that's gonna take the video game adaptation uh, film genre towards, you know, the height that it deserves. And since 2016 didn't work with Warcraft and Assassin's Creed, this year we look to a character which is arguably the most significant, the most uh, influential woman character in video game history. And we're talking about Lara Croft. Lara Croft is by all means a, a phenomenal video game franchise, you know. Uh, when it comes to uh, platformers, action-packed platformers, Lara Croft is one of the best. And also when it comes to video game characters, Lara Croft is an icon. And we've seen the movies based on this video game with Angelina Jolie years back. They weren't really great, but then of course those movies did act as a jumping pad for Angelina Jolie to, you know, go into uh, a different level of stardom and starring in great movies after Lara Croft. But as movies in themselves, they weren't really good movies. So 2018 saw a reboot, an origin reboot uh, of the whole Lara Croft cinema verse with Alicia Vikander as, you know, the protagonist. So with this year's reboot origin of this iconic video game character is Lara Croft, the one video game movie that we have been waiting for all these years. Well, here's our review. While comic book movies have eventually managed to get the respect they deserve, the same can hardly be said for films based on video games. Movie adaptations of video games have for decades squandered every opportunity they've been given. The video game enthusiasts have been crushed year after year by the great Hollywood machine. So for salvation of an entire subspecies of movies, as we usually do, we must turn to a woman. Two women in fact. Lara Croft, arguably the most beloved female video game character of all time, and Alicia Vikander, an Oscar-winning star, shedding her corsets for a decidedly more comfortable and controversial outfit. Tomb Raider is one of those reboots of established franchises that we've grown so wary of these days. Honestly, even if films such as this end up being good, it takes a significant effort to ignore the blatant capitalism. And casting Vikander, a star who's made a career out of costume dramas as a very modern heroine, is an indication of what this film is trying to do. She essentially carries the movie on her enviably chiseled shoulders, injecting unexpected emotion into her first kill and the requisite excitement into a first adventure. Her physical transformation, while the most obvious takeaway, is hardly her most impressive feat. It's the earnestness that she brings to the role that takes you off guard, considering especially the unimpressive screenplay that she is working with. It's the sort of script that brings the narrative to a screeching halt, only to deliver unengaging exposition and shortchange supporting characters. No one needs that. Also, no one needs a perfunctory father-daughter relationship in a movie that should have ideally been a rip-roaring adventure. Tomb Raider is very much an origin story, introducing us to a Lara Croft who hasn't yet raided any tombs. Yes, a reboot and an origin story. While no one really expects a Lara Croft movie to have the spirit of an Indiana Jones, we can at least expect some of the levity of a national treasure movie perhaps, 
or an uncharted video game maybe. Unfortunately, this Tomb Raider is far too grim for its own good. It borrows heavily from the 2013 reboot of the video game. The film's reverence for the source material is apparent and appreciated by a video game fan like myself. However, it's too simplistic and too generic for the uninitiated. It's too straightforward, too inelegant and too gruff in even the most sentimental moments. When it should have felt like a warm hug, it feels like an awkward handshake at best. But having said that, this movie could easily have been so much worse. Video game movies still have a long way to go unfortunately. Tomb Raider is hardly the Wonder Woman it should have been, but there's still hope. So there you go, that was our review of the new Lara Croft movie. And the quick verdict is, it's an okay movie. And how many times have we said that about video game movies? I mean, the good ones are always just like, okay, they're, they're fine movies. And there's, we're still waiting for a good video game movie, for a great video game movie, in fact. And, you know, it was this, this movie was disappointing on many levels. It did some things right, but overall, it just didn't work. It really didn't. And so... The wait continues for us video game fans and gamers all around the world. The wait continues. But there's always hope because video games as an industry, as a genre, has so much material. Anyways, let us know what did you guys think about, you know, Tomb Raider. Uh, what are your thoughts on the video game movie adaptation genre, this whole thing that's going on? You know, what are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, if you want to see more content, please do leave a like and perhaps you can consider subscribing to our channel it's free it takes only a second and it helps us out a lot so yeah until next time i will see ya